Okay, brilliant. You've reached essential number three, which is understanding your Shopify account. Now, my job here is to make you feel comfortable, put you at ease if you like, with Shopify, particularly if you've never seen anything like this before. I fully understand that it can be quite overwhelming. So by the end of this lecture, what I want to achieve is that you feel very comfortable with Shopify and of course excited about building out your business. So in the last lecture, I left you looking at this screen. Now, there's a couple of housekeeping points here, which are very, very important. First of all, that password that you use when you set up your Shopify store, please, please note it down somewhere because you may need to log back into your Shopify system at some point. The second thing is please bookmark this page so you can come back to it easily at any time. Now, before we get started looking at this whole menu structure and of course the store itself, you've probably noticed this button over here, this select a plan. And you should also have received an email from Shopify with details about your account. And within that, there will be probably some mention of selecting a plan as well. Now, I don't want you to worry about any of this at the moment, okay? Just ignore this button. We have a 14 day free trial here to really explore this system. And that's exactly what we're gonna do, okay? So please take no notice of that for the time being. So let's get down to business. Now, the first thing I want you to do is to click on this little eye icon next to where it says online store. And it will open up, believe it or not, your store, right? It has actually set up a store without doing anything. All of this for free, okay? So it doesn't look great, I admit, but we have a lot of functionality already in place. First of all, we've got Tim's Super Deals up here. We've got a home, we've got a catalog, we've got the ability to search, we've got a checkout. We've got some semblance of a home page with the ability to add an image and some sort of text overlay, as you can see. And as I scroll down, you quickly get the idea of how well this is set up for e-commerce store owners. So we've got a feature collection. Clearly, we we're going to be able to drop products into this whole thing. You know, we've got various ways we can display the products and finishing up with some sort of slide at the bottom. Now, all of this is highly customizable and we're going to be looking at this as we go through the course. But what's really, really cool is for absolutely nothing, in fact, just the few clicks of the mouse, we have some store set up. We have the bare bones, if you like, of our store. Now let's go back to what I call the admin system. You'll hear me referring to this page sometimes as the admin system, sometimes as the back end as we go throughout the course. Now I just want to make an analogy for you so you really understand the difference between the back end and the store itself. Okay, so if you imagine a real store, right, when you walk into your shopping mall or you go into your local town, you have that front window, okay, that front window that displays all of the products and tempts you into the store. And when you're in that store, you're walking around, taking your time looking at products. Now that's very much the front end, okay, the website itself. That's what that presents. It's presenting your store in the best possible manner, okay. Now this back end system is, if you like, the back end of the store. So let's just imagine there's somebody in the back room doing things like ordering the products themselves from suppliers, pricing those products, managing the customer accounts, all that kind of stuff. Now that's very much the back end, okay? So if you're at all confused, keep that analogy in mind. I really hope that helps you going forward. Okay, so let's delve a little bit more into this menu over here on the left-hand side. Now, we're on the home page currently. Now, these next three things basically go together. We've got the orders, the products, and the customers, okay? So obviously, we're gonna be setting up our store. We are going to load it up with products, and you'll see how all of this comes into play as we go through the course. And then, of course, we're gonna drive potential customers to the store where they are then going to make orders. So Shopify enables us to very, very easily add products in, all point and click, okay? No technical knowledge, don't worry about a thing here. Very easily add products into our store and modify them at any time. We can then very easily track and see the orders as they come in and ultimately therefore building up our list of customers. So I hope you can see that nice little grouping there. That's really, for me, the core of the business, all right? 
Now these next two are nice to have, no question, but I'm not going to delve into them in massive detail in this course because they're not completely essential to you making money, all right? We've got analytics, which is basically enables us to see where customers have come from around the world visiting our store. And we've got the ability to apply discount, discount codes. Yeah, I'm sure you're familiar with the concept of a coupon code to get a discount on a product. That's where you can basically put that together. Now, the next one on the list, apps, is important okay now apps are very very powerful in fact if i just click on this you will see that we have various apps okay and we have an app store so i just want to make another analogy at this point with your mobile phone for example if you've bought a smartphone you will know that it comes with some fairly basic functionality let's say just to keep things simple, the ability to make calls and perhaps send texts. So if you want to increase the functionality of your phone for whatever reason, let's say to get your local weather forecast, you might want to download an app onto your phone in order to be able to do that, okay? So you've increased the functionality of your phone with an app and Shopify has exactly that. It has this app store with all kinds of amazing add-ons that we can download, that we can plug in to our store to massively increase its functionality, okay? So some of them are free, some of them are paying and we're gonna be delving into this aspect as we go through the course. So don't worry about it too much at the moment. Just know that we can massively increase the functionality of our basic store at the moment with apps. Now this next section is the online store and this is where we're going to manage the look and feel of our store itself. So if we just go back to it, it's all about changing this stuff here, okay? All the stuff that we were looking at just a few minutes ago. So what we can do here, for example, is with themes, which is super important, we are able to change very quickly the look and feel of our store. You're going to see all this stuff later on, all right? So I just want to basically make you aware of it at this stage. Blog posts I won't get into because I have another course that talks about building out a blog on Shopify. But pages, clearly we can add many pages to our store if we want to. And navigation is all about having a menu system that makes sense. And I'm going to delve into all of this stuff with you. Now, domains and preferences we will also be getting into, but that's less to do with the actual overall look and feel of the store. But there are some very, very important aspects that we are going to touch on going forward. Now, the last thing right down the bottom here are our settings. Now, if we click on this, you see a whole load of icons, okay? I don't want you to get overwhelmed at this stage. It's not necessary. I will introduce each one of these at the appropriate time. So at this stage, I just want to go to general because this is where I said, and if you remember, you can change stuff later on, okay? So you remember I called mine Tim's Super Deals. If you want to change that name at this stage, then you can. That's where you come to do this, okay? You can change your email. We have the store address. Again, remember I said you could modify that? Well, that's where you would do it right in here, okay? And the other thing that is important is depending on where you are around the world, it should have already selected it by default. Um, I'm in France, so it's basically pick my time zone and my various uh, metric systems and kilograms, etc. set it to euros. Just check this and make sure that that all makes sense wherever you happen to be doing this course. Okay, so that's it. That's a helicopter view of Shopify itself. So as I said in the beginning, my mission was to put you at ease. I really, really hope I've done that. Please don't worry about the detail, okay? We're gonna get into the detail. I just want you to feel comfortable. You know, this is all point and click. You cannot break this. In fact, I would encourage you to click around with your Shopify store now, mess about a bit, not too much because I want to show you stuff as we go on, but please just click around and you're gonna start feeling very, very comfortable in no time at all.